For 11 days, we followed the Alabama escapee and the jail official who gave him his freedom. And we were told Casey and Vicki White, who are not related, had a jailhouse romance. Well, now as Casey White's legal team is gearing up for his pending murder case, a new picture is being portrayed. They say Casey was in the, quote, care and custody of Vicki White the entire time the pair was on the run. Senior correspondent Brian Enton was there as the Whites were found in Indiana. And of course, Vicki died as a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound at the end of that manhunt. And Brian is with us tonight. Brian, it sounds like um, a pretty critical defense strategy being put forth here. Yeah, this is certainly very interesting, Marnie, this new defense strategy by Casey White's uh, brand new attorney. First of all, he also wants a change of venue. He says all of this media attention uh, has tainted the jury pool and he wants the trial to be moved to a different part of Alabama. And you mentioned the very other interesting part of this. In one of the filings, uh, Casey White's attorney uh, said that Casey was in the custody of Vicki White the entire time. The care and custody of Vicki White, almost now trying to put all of the blame on her. Casey White had already been serving a 75-year sentence for a home invasion, carjacking, and police chase when he confessed to stabbing 58-year-old Connie Ridgeway back in 2015. And information shows that Vicky and Casey began a jailer and jailee romance back in 2020. And when he was moved to the Lauderdale County Jail for a hearing, that was their jailbreak opportunity. The scenario is, is, is complicated and complex, well thought out, well planned out. And now we know that, that this didn't, didn't happen in the last couple of three weeks. You know, it took longer than that to plan something like this of this magnitude. It was the Lauderdale County Jail that the two walked out of beginning their 11 days on the run. Vicki and Casey White eluded authorities, crossing state borders, traveling nearly 300 miles together. It all ended in Evansville, Indiana, when a chase with authorities came to an end in a ditch. Surrounded by police, Vicki White turned the gun on herself. As police led Casey out of their stolen car, his comments did not sound like someone who was being coerced. Uh, at that time, he made a spontaneous statement that uh, he said, help my wife, she shot herself and I didn't do it. Authorities don't think the two were married, but Casey calling Vicky his wife was telling of their relationship. They're human beings, that they have their own minds, and for whatever reason, that they've developed some type of relationship, and, and so it, it's startling. And as for the latest from uh, Lauderdale County, Alabama, we have learned that there are a number of job openings right now at the Lauderdale County uh, Jail, where this entire saga unfolded from. 11 different job openings in that very small jail right now. Uh, the job descriptions are interesting. They say uh, the uh, person who takes the job must uh, prevent uh, escape and also maintain self-control uh, one of those openings we know uh, is Vicki White's former job. Marnie? Seems like those would have been requirements of the job prior to their escape. All right, Brian Enton live for us tonight. Uh, we'll be following this trial with Casey White very closely. Thank you. Coming up. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.